All right, what's good, YouTube Nation? It's your boy Cornelius Edison, bringing you another video of what I do when I go to the gym. Today was chest day, and I wasn't at Gold's gym today, but uh, I was at a local gym close to my house. So I started chest today off with incline bench, and uh, I had already did a warm up set, but this is 185 on the incline. I think I got it 10 times. But yeah, I like to start my uh, chest day now with upper chest. So the incline bench is the way to go with the upper chest if you want to bring that your upper pecs up, you know, more so than what they are now. And right here, I'm about to do 225 in the incline. I think I got this five times. And... Uh, I always want to make sure your straps are on good so you can have that support. But yeah, this 225, uh, this is pretty good for incline. You know, I'm all natural. No creatine, none of that. No steroids, any of that. So everything that I do just come from natural strength. But, you know, I'm not in the gym trying to lift the most weight. So what I do works for me. Um, this is one, two, this is actually 205. And this is what I work out with. This is what I'm comfortable with. Um, and it has really helped my upper pecs start developing even more than I've ever seen. Like I said, the past seven months now, I mean, I've learned a lot of techniques to really get your body to respond compared to how I used to work out. So... Anybody need any kind of training, coaching on how to, you know, get anything that you want, I can, I'm sure I can help. And this is 185. It's nothing. The way that I train is, is high volume, high reps. That's, that's what my body responds to. It's high volume and high reps. It's no more three sets it is for eight reps or ten reps is I usually do no less than five reps five uh, sets I'm sorry per per exercise and okay yeah hit another set it is I do drop sets so I started at 225 got that five times with the 205 I think I got that eight times then I went to 185 and I got that eight to ten times I, I did two or three sets of 185 because I was able to, able, able to contract and squeeze my muscles more with this 185 and that's where you get optimal growth get all kind of gains like that and right here I'm about to move to the flat bench dumbbell press Right here, I was looking for some weights because everything was so scattered, so it's kind of hard to find the dumbbells that I was looking for. I think I started with a warm up of 55 pounds. Just getting that mind body connection. And I don't, I don't lock out when I, uh, when I lift weights. I like to keep constant tension on my muscles. That also give you optimal growth. Never lock out. You got to keep constant constant tension. I got that from a couple of guys that I've watched on YouTube. Uh, well, actually, Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath, number one guy that never locks out. T.T. Fletcher, all these guys, you, you never see them lock their elbows on any movement. So... I think this is 65 pounds, 65 pound dumbbells. The dumbbell is uh, is better actually than the barbell because you you recruit a lot of mu more muscle fibers and stabilize the muscles to lift the weight. So I advise anyone to try out the dumbbell press. This is a 75 pound dumbbell press. I've gotten like 85 pounds before, but this is my second workout, so I didn't go any higher than this. 
and it felt pretty good. Um, constant tension also. Um, yeah, I had to get that last one in. Felt kind of rough right there, but yeah. The next exercise I went to was the incline flies. And you really want to squeeze the top of your chest or pecs with this movement. This really brings up the upper pecs. Uh, I, do, I always used, uh, I usually get the incline flies in right after my incline bench or dumbbell bench. Just because, you know, you want to still be recruiting different muscle fibers with different movements. Um, using these dumbbells, you know, you're versatile with any kind of movement that you're trying to obtain. Um, some people use cables. I don't. I'm not a fan of doing my incline flies with cables because I can. I get more movement with the dumbbells. I usually don't go any higher than than a 40 pound dumbbell with the flies, just because you want to keep. You want to stay healthy. You don't want to mess up your shoulder. Your front delts, anything like that with trying to go too heavy. It, it, it really don't make sense to go too heavy with the flies. It's all about technique. Everything that we do in the gym is about technique. You know, you got guys that go in the gym for years, never see any kind of games because they never actually learned the technique to use to get the most out of their workouts. And you know, I've I've been fortunate enough to learn a lot of techniques that has helped me out in the past seven months that, you know, I, I tell people I really just started working out maybe a year ago or seven months ago because I've learned how to work out. So I'm just really getting started with the knowledge of how to squeeze and the technique and not going super heavy trying to impress anyone. Yeah, well... My current weight right now is 218. Um, I'm trying to stay around that 215 to 218 mark. I'm still down two pant sizes. Uh, and all this has just come from going hard in the gym just like this. I don't hit the treadmill or anything like that. What I do for cardio is I do hit the jump rope. I do hit the jump rope. And right here on these dips, I'm just real quick. Um, you want to lean forward with, for your dips if you're trying to hit your chest. You don't want to stand straight up. Leaning forward helps you get that curve at the bottom. But back to cardio, I um, I mostly do high intensity cardio also, which means jump rope, all of that kind of stuff. Sprints. And here I we'll move to cable flies. I did three different variations of cable flies here. Um, this is the top variation, which is really I'm squeezing at the bottom, but the cables are coming from the top. I also went from straight across, and then I took them to the bottom and brought them up, just like the incline flies. In here, knocked out some traps, shoulder shrugs. It's 65 pounds. It's all about squeezing, squeezing your neck, squeezing your traps, your rhomboids, all of those muscles. You want to recruit different muscle fibers to to get all kind of blood pumping into those muscles. I think I've got 25 reps right here. That's what it's about getting your reps in. You can't can't do 30 reps for one day if you if that's the only day you're gonna hit traps. You gotta hit at least and at least 50, 60, 70. Try to get 100 with everything if you have time, but you definitely got want to get more than eight to ten reps per set. This is a 75 pound shoulder shrug. And with everything, I didn't get all of my sets with everything. I just usually recorded. 
think two sets of everything I did because I got like four or five sets of everything. So I didn't want this video to be overwhelming, overwhelmingly <laughs> long. So now I hit biceps on my chest. Now I hit chest, traps, and biceps because I don't hit chest and tries on the same day because I'm already working tries so it wouldn't benefit me as much as it would if I hit the biceps. So right here I went close grip for the short head and then I went wide grip for the long head. Back to back. So this is already 20 reps right here. 20 good reps. All kind of blood pumping into those muscles without taking breaks. And like I said, I got more, two, two to three more sets of that, but I went ahead and just uh, moved on to the hammer curls. And these were kind of coming across my body because I was, this is for the long head of the bicep, so you want to squeeze at the top. I was trying to get a good angle right there, but yeah, you want to squeeze at the top. That's the way you, you're getting the most out of your muscles. And this was the last workout that I did. I also hit the jump rope after this, but I didn't record it. Um, I didn't. I wasn't sure how long this video was going to be, but go to YouTube and like my page, subscribe, comment, view all of my videos, and you know, leave leave me feedback. Let me know what you want to see next. All right, we go hard fitness. Cornelius Edison. I'm out.